So today I'm gonna show you how to install Serverless Plus on your Minecraft server. Serverless Plus is a plugin that allows you to customize your appearance inside of the Minecraft server list. And while you are able to do this by default in Minecraft, Serverless Plus adds many cool features that are really worth it. So before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. Also check if you're already subscribed to the channel, as most people watching my videos are actually not subscribed. Press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out and then with it any further ado let's uh, dive right into this so the first step to getting serverless plus working on your minecraft server is actually downloading serverless plus there will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to the speak mc page from serverless plus there you can simply click on the download button it will give you a jar file and make sure to drag it inside of the plugins folder of your minecraft server now for some of the serverless plus features to work you will also need a plugin called protocol lib a link to protocol lib will also be in the description and you can download it in the same way just go to the speak mc page click on download and drag it into your plugins folder after dragging both of the plugins inside of your plugins folder restart your server and you will be ready to go to double check if the plugins are successfully installed we can just simply type slash plugins there we go and we can see both protocol lib and serverless plus are installed now the next step will be enabling serverless plus because if we currently look at our minecraft server we just see this default text here to enable serverless plus you will need to join your server and then type slash slp serverless plus enable like that serverless plus has been successfully enabled and when we now check out the minecraft server you can see that it is now enabled so instead of just a minecraft server it will now say a minecraft server now with pvp minigames and much more and when we click refresh it will say a minecraft server we have updated our server to 1.8 well we're on a bit of a newer version but okay now very cool is that if we join this server now and after that we leave again so we've now joined the server very cool i've been playing here now we leave again and you can see that it will now say my username so a minecraft network hello kasasora we have updated our server to 1.8 so it is now a personalized message which is really really cool now what's also fancy is if we hover the player count it will also show a message now the message is a little bit too big but it says welcome back kasasora currently zero players are playing on our server and this message is also fully customizable so without any further ado let's dive into the config so to get to the config file first go to the folder where your minecraft server lives then you want to look for the plugins folder double click then the folder that says serverless plus double click and then you want to look for serverless plus dot yml open it and it will first present you with some basic information so here we'll tell you all the features here we'll tell you some placeholders that you can use which are really really cool but when we scroll a bit further down you will see the place where we can actually customize the messages so we got two kinds of messages we got default and personalized we can change both to whatever we want so let's first change the default message a minecraft server it is not just a minecraft server kasai soras minecraft server yes now this is fully compatible with all minecraft color codes so we can make this the color for example blue and now in blue it will say kasai soras minecraft server now down here it says now with pvp mini games and much more i don't have pvp on my server i got skyblock there we go and we also got a smp so let's type smp now with skyblock SMP and much more. Now beneath that we can see the second message that can appear. So every single time we go to our server list one of these two messages will appear. So if you want to add a third message it is really really easy. I would recommend just copying the message and everything above. So these three lines you want to copy then press enter go to the start and then ctrl v. Bam we now got a third message and I can let it say something like this is another message lol okay cool we now got three messages and down here we can also edit the hover message so now it will say welcome to a minecraft server currently percent online percent players are playing on our server now what is percent online percent well that's a placeholder and this placeholder will showcase the amount of online players there are many more placeholders you can use we got percent player percent percent online percent percent max percent and the list goes on so use whatever one you want i'm gonna remove this bottom line and then here i wanted to say 
join now explanation mark explanation mark explanation mark then i'm gonna turn this color to red and i'm also gonna give it bold letters <laughs> join now and i mean real quick okay awesome my default message is finished now i'm gonna keep the personalized message the same just to show you the difference and all the way at the bottom of the config we got some other settings i've never had to change anything here so it's probably not that important i guess it's time to ctrl s save the config and in game we're gonna type slash slp that stands for serverless plus and then reload Press enter, config successfully reloaded. The new MOTD we just edited is now visible for everyone. So after reloading the config, this is what players that have never joined the server before will see. So we got Katasura's Minecraft server, and then down here, now with Skyblock, SMP, and much more. Just the way we configured it. If we press on refresh, we will get the next message. This is another message, lol. And then when we press refresh again, we will get the last message a minecraft server we have updated our server to 1.8 we've not changed a single thing there so that message is still default now when we hover over the player count this is what you will see join now so that all works perfectly and it's exactly like we said it now this is all the default message so this is for players that have never joined the server before when we do join the server and then just hop around for a bit have some fun and after that we leave the server again you can see that we now got a different message this is the default message again so a minecraft network hello kasasara now with pvp and mini games and when we refresh you can see we have updated our server to 1.8 and when i hover over the player count we will see that same default message again how cool is that and then guys that's gonna be it i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like also make sure you're subscribed to the channel most people who are watching my videos are actually not subscribed actually more than 90% of people who are watching my video are not subscribed to the channel. It is just a single simple click and you would help me out so extremely much. So make sure you're subscribed. And with all that out of the way, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.